I'm here with uh, artist Bill Mulder, uh, somebody who I've known for a little while now and consider a, a, a friend. Uh, um, and Bill, um, Bill is here actually at Treat Pain Acupuncture in San Luis Obispo, basically having an art exhibit tonight. And it's been really cool. Lots of people coming in, um, checking out your work. Uh, so Bill, for folks that aren't familiar with your style of work, artistry, could you tell us a little bit about it? Uh, well, let's see. I like to do hikes and uh, I like to uh, get out and explore the trails that we're on and I've always had a uh, little interest in anything to do with uh, American Indians so I thought it'd be a good way to combine the two is uh, grab a uh, painting kit, a uh, plein air painting kit, landscape painting kit and go out and enjoy the outdoors and hopefully catch something and uh, usually it's a nice thing to do is to go out and paint it's just kind of a relaxing thing and it's uh I consider it my fishing so to speak and sometimes I come back with something worthy of keeping gotcha. and other times it's uh you know throw it back in gotcha gotcha well interesting uh, appropriately enough you and the the um title of your exhibit tonight is sacred spaces which uh obviously is kind of an homage to the native american um indigenous influence in your work and um is that what is it about that i mean we're here on the central coast beautiful um uh area and also the chumash uh, native peoples uh, you know this is their land and so uh, to what extent does that uh, permeate your work well, again, it's uh, sort of a, ch a childhood thing that I've always had an interest in uh, Native Americans. And um, there's just what we don't have here on especially the West Coast is um, the architecture and the culture that Europe does mm -hmm. of people living, you know, for centuries having mm -hmm. Roman aqueducts and whatnot. But we do have these spaces where people existed over generations. and. Um, that's the places that I wanted to experience is uh, why did they hang out in these spots? And going there with a paintbrush and sort of feeling the area and kind of getting the energy, I call it, mm -hmm. um, for why they existed where they are. Why would they um, want to sit here and grind their acorns? Yeah. It's usually because it's a beautiful spot. It overlooks a creek or under the shade of an oak tree yeah. and a uh, perfect place for the kids to hang out while you're while you're working yeah. basically yeah. Awesome. so it was a great way for me to um, do my landscapes and sort of pair the two interests that I had together definitely it almost allows you to also sit in the same place the sacred place or sacred spaces that uh, indigenous people you know from centuries back uh, also sat so exactly. that's interesting one of the things that I've learned tonight is kind of your method as an artist in terms of going out in the field, bringing a masonite board and, 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 and doing your thing artistically, and then kind of walking away from it. Unlike other artists that may belabor their, their artistry over the course of days or weeks or month, months, there's kind of, an, uh, kind of a real time element in your method. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Well, the thing about uh, what I work in is uh, with the masonite, and with the acrylics, um, what I like about it is it's immediate. Mm -hmm. um, it depends on the weather, mm -hmm. how some of my paintings turn out. Mm -hmm. uh, a colder day, I'll be able to work the painting, the work the uh, paint itself a little bit longer. Yeah. But that all depends on how cold am I. Mm -hmm. And uh, in, some time, in some cases, it's like, I got to get this done because I'm <laughs> freezing. Yes, yeah. And so. Um, it kind of lends itself to, I'd say, the expressionist side of me, yes. which I also enjoy is yeah. expressionist art. The more you squint, the more it comes together. Gotcha. Um, summertime, of course, it's a different feel. Yeah. So uh, it's another way of sort of interacting with the environment gotcha. with the paints yes. as well. Yeah, the viscosity of the paint is directly proportional to the, the temperature, and so you've got some dynamics there as an artist that, some constraints, I guess, if you will, or some structure that you have to work within. Well, Bill, tonight we saw lots of people out here coming in here and enjoying your work. What were some of the comments or questions that you got tonight from people that uh, had, had the opportunity to view your work? For the most part, they liked the theme mm -hmm. and the idea because I think it is a, a story that's uh, not told enough mm -hmm. and um, a part of our history, mm -hmm. uh, California history, Western history that 
um, isn't reflected much and um, interpreted through an artist's eye, of course. I kind of give it a romantic kind of theme, yet um, again with my style, my immediate style of doing it mm -hmm. in the spot, mm -hmm. um, puts that, I don't know what you call it other than California landscape artist on top of it. So okay. it's, um, I would say that was the, one of the questions was, you know, what draws you to this theme? And uh, the other one was the craft of putting it together on the pallets mm -hmm. with the uh, copper tape. I think people enjoyed that yeah. as well. Yeah, awesome, very good, very good. Well, you know, we are here, uh, for those that uh, I may have mentioned it at the top of the interview, but we are here in the uh, office of Patrick Payne, a local acupuncturist, Treat Payne Acupuncture, and just the, the very therapeutic environment. Uh, we've got a lot of uh, natural uh, Chinese herbs around us, a lot of really good feng shui, I guess you could say. What's your connection with this organization, and, and how do you think it kind of blends with your artistic approach? I think um, both uh, Patrick and I were... Um, new to joining the Art After Dark group, mm -hmm. him as a business and mm -hmm. me as an artist. Mm -hmm. And uh, Patrick's been working on me for quite some time with his acupuncture oh, okay. and with his, uh, with his healing herbs oh, as well. Okay. And um, we thought it would be a good pairing with um, certain art mm -hmm. as far as tapping into maybe an alternative um, side me with my the indigenous mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. and um, there's other artists that I'm aligning with him that seem to fit the same tone as okay. um, what he's doing which is blending eastern medicine with western medicine okay. and uh, bringing it to um, to to light as well maybe a, a another uh, story that's untold or yeah not featured as much as it should. There you go. Well, it sounds like there's a lot of untold stories that we can look forward to uh, hearing from Bill as an artist and seeing how his work develops. And, and speaking of which, Bill, in terms of uh, for folks out there that want to keep abreast of your work, uh, there's ways that they can kind of stay in touch through uh, the internet, through a website. Right. Tell us a little bit about how folks can stay plugged in with you. Well, I have a studio in Santa Margarita, and uh, my studio is called On Track Studio. And uh, they can go to my website, ontrackstudio.com, okay, cool. on dash track studio. There we go. We got it up on the screen right now there for everybody to check, type that in on your browsers. But mm -hmm. okay, cool. So, yeah, come on by the studio anytime. I'll be participating in open studios in October as well. All right, very good. All right. Well, Bill, we'll let you get back to your fans here, and uh, we'll uh, let you get back to your artistry. So thanks again, man.